This is probably going to be one of the most important videos we've been watched when it comes to drones because we're going to go through the return to home feature. And there is actually three different kind of return to home features. The first one, that is the smart return to home. And that is initiated whenever you press the return to home button on your remote. The second one, that is the fail safe return to home. And that is whenever you lose the connection between the drone and the remote. And the drone just needs to come back because you don't have any connection anymore. And the third one, that is the low battery return to home. And that is when a drone is gonna come back when it thinks it doesn't have any more battery to fly anymore. So it's just gonna take itself home so you can land safely. So the first feature we're gonna take a look at, that is the smart return to home, which is the one that is initiated whenever you press the return to home button on your remote. And the smart return to home, that one is actually divided up into three different features as well. The first one, that one is initiated whenever the drone is at least 50 meters away from the home point. And if you would like to know exactly how to master the home point, well, then I have linked a video in the description box below for that. So first, let's fly at least 50 meters away so we can see how the smart return to home feature works whenever the drone is at least 50 meters away from the home point. Now we're just going to go into the menu and make sure that we have the return to home altitude set correctly and that is set to 20 meters. So that is what we'd like to have because 20 meters is the lowest altitude we can have for return to home. Now we're going to initiate the return to home via press of the button. The drone will now ascend up to return to home altitude, which is set to 20 meters. And then it will turn around its heading towards the home position and will fly back. And remember that the DJI Mini 3 Pro that I have for this experiment it will work about the same for all DJI drones, but the DJI Mini 3 Pro and other drones, they don't have the precision landing, which means that it doesn't gonna land exactly where it took off. It's gonna land approximately at the same position. And this is probably exactly how you expect to return to home feature to work. But now let's take a look what happens if the drone is between 5 meters and 50 meters away from the home point. And if you would like to master how to take off and land in your hand, well then I have a dedicated video for that also in the description box below. Okay, so now we are 11 meters away from the home point and if I now initiate the return to home, the drone is just gonna turn its heading towards the home position. It's gonna ignore the return to home altitude and it's just gonna return home. And I can pause this again with the pause button so it doesn't land. And that is something that you really have to keep in mind because you may be going to be very, very confused if you push the button and the drone will not ascend after you return to home altitude. The next one, that is when you are less than five meters away from the home point. So if we now fly away and I now initiate return to home, the drone will just land exactly where it is. And this can also be very confusing. So when the drone is less than five meters away from the home point, the drone will just land wherever it is. It will, however, sense the ground below it if it's suitable for landing, and if it's not, it will just stop. The next thing we're gonna test, that is what's gonna happen if there is an obstacle between me and the drone whenever the return to home procedure is initiated. And to test this, we need to find something that is at least 20 meters high, because that is the return to home altitude. We're gonna see whatever we have around us that is at least 20 meters high. Here we have something, a high freaking tree. Let's fly behind that thing. And then we're gonna just make sure that the tree is between us and the drone, and it is. So hopefully the drone will figure this out. So let's press the return to home button.
The drone will now ascend, continue to ascend. It still detects an obstacle, it will continue to ascend. until it's free to fly forward. So now we're actually up to 50 meters of height instead. So the drone will not try to go around it, it will just try to go above it. Now we're gonna try to see what's gonna happen if we are in sport mode when we initiate to return to home and there is an obstacle between us and the drone because in sport mode, the obstacle avoidance sensors are disabled. So let's try this again. So let's go up to 20 meters again. And now let's try to initiate the return to home. It's gonna correct its heading towards home. <gasps> and it's gonna do the same. So the obstacle avoidance sensors are active whenever we are initiating the return to home procedure, even if we are in the sport mode. Will the speed of the drone difference if we are in normal, cinematic or sport mode in the return to home? So this is in sport mode and when we are initiate to return to home in sport mode you can see that the obstacle avoidance icon is initiated again. And now we are flying back in 10 meters per second when we are in sport mode. And if we switch to cinematic mode, we were in 10 meters per second in sport mode. In cinematic mode, we will also reach 10 meters per second. So the return to home speed that is independent of the flight mode you're in. The drone will put itself in a return to home state and it will ignore whatever setting you have. The last return to home feature we're gonna check, that is the low battery return to home. So for that, I've been waiting until the battery of the drone is low so we can see how that works. So now we're just gonna fly away a little bit until we're here and then we get directly low battery return to home. Low battery, the aircraft will return to home after countdown. So now the drone just turns around, it's heading and we can actually tap to cancel. And when we have tapped to cancel the return to home, it will be really mad at us. And if we now continue to fly a little bit, so we can actually see here how much we have left. If we tap here, we can see that we should return to home promptly. It's 15 seconds until we are forced to land. And it's 2.26 minutes until the battery is depleted. So now it's critical, the low battery. Confirm. Now the drone is just gonna land wherever it is. I can cancel out this by just pushing up on the remote. There is no cancel button, so I can't just cancel it. The drone will land. And if there is anything below it, like this, then the drone don't think it's suitable for landing. So it will stay in the air until the battery is depleted. And here it says that the area under the aircraft is unsuitable for landing. So that is exactly what we talked about earlier in this video. So then the drone wanted to reposition and now it's going to assess the ground below it again and the drone will force land. Again, I can push it up. Now we have about one minute left until the battery is depleted. I can continue to push up. Now we have three seconds until it's depleted. We can still force it to go up a little bit. It's definitely not recommended to deplete the battery this far because... Oh, don't do that. But you can also always tap the battery icon up here to see how much battery you have left until the forced landing procedure is going to be initiated and until the battery is depleted. So you can see that even when this was indicating that the battery is depleted, you are still able to keep the drone in the air a little bit longer. Now I can't do it anymore. Now the drone is forced landing and I cannot do anything. So now I hope that you have a lot better confidence in the return to home feature and you know exactly what the drone is going to do in different situations. The next thing you're going to do though, that is to click that video because I would love to see you in that one. And don't forget to subscribe and like and all of those things. And a super thanks is highly appreciated well because that is saying thank you in a very special way. Bye.